Welcome to AMF Boxing and today I'm giving my reaction to Javonte Davis vs Barrios. Barrios did really well to stay in the fight as long as he did. Um, Tank was catching him with some hateful shots throughout the um, entire fight. Um, he was taking the jab away of Barrios. Uh, Barrios uh, landed some good combinations. He did um, really well at um, moving around the ring. He was staying out of the way of Tank's um, power shots uh, for the early um, for the early rounds. Um, Tank looked like the smaller guy against Barrios. Barrios is a natural 140 pounder, where Javante Davis was 130 and 135 pound uh, WBA champion. So um, he's been in the lighter weights and um, he's used to fighting smaller guys. It's the first time I've seen him up against um, a guy that's much bigger than um, much bigger than Tank. Um, Tank did really, really, really well with um, he was walking Barrios down and he was catching a lot of the shots on the gloves um, and slipping a lot of um, punches. Tank has really, really good power. Even at 140 pounds, it looked like. He would have knocked out a lot of 140 pounders. I think if that's as big as he can move up, I don't think he should go up anymore. Um, I think he should campaign now at 140 pounds. I'd like to see him up there against um, Josh Taylor uh, one day if he fights someone else like a WBC eliminator. Um, Tank is a great finisher. He knows once he's got his opponents here, he can finish the fight at, um, at any point. He didn't look like he was here at any point in the fight. He has a great chin, um, great defense skills. He's an all-round, all-round fighter. He was fighting on the back foot. He was fighting on the front foot. He was he was moving around the ring well. He was counter punching. Um, I think we we. Um, where Tank might come unstuck is if he fights someone who can take his punch power, but I can't see anyone being able to take that punch power uh, anytime soon. Cup of tea. Oh. And um, Tank will only uh, get better from here. Um, I don't know where Barry Oost will go after this um, knockout defeat to um, to Tank. Um, Barry Oost's jab looked really, really good at uh, certain points in the fight. Um, he managed to keep Tank at, at range for a couple of rounds, and um, once Tank worked out what he was doing, um, it was game over for Barry Oost. He did really, really well. Um, a lot of people were expecting Tank to just walk through him because they'd never heard of him, but I watched a few of his fights and I thought um, I thought he, he has really good um, punches and angles and good movement and um, he has decent um, defense. Um, I feel like he needs to work on a counter punching a little bit better. He needs to be a bit more um, like patient, wait for the shots. Instead of forcing them, um, which I felt like Barrios was doing. Um, Tank has a great trainer. He has a great management team. And um, I feel like they know what they're doing with him. They're putting him in the right direction. Tank is the most... Well, him Tia, and Tiafimo Lopez are the most exciting power punchers uh, in the lower weight classes. I, I love to watch them. Um... Tank will uh, stay at 140 pounds, I feel like, and if he does, then obviously the fight that I would like to see would be um, him against Josh Taylor. I think that would be really a uh, great matchup, or against Javante Davis versus uh, Regis Progre would be another great fight. Um, if you haven't hit the like and uh, subscribe button, go ahead and do so. This is AMF Boxing. I am out.